A famous building mishap you will see in our vlog, the crooked spire of Chesterfield, quite a lean, oh my god. Oliver is poorly, so a new crew out to explore, the quaint streets of Chesterfield, the markets and more. Visiting the bakeries, giving reviews on the bread, shopping with the mother, buying accessories for the head. Come along with us to this buzzing and historical place, fitting in a discreet monument floss and cake to fulfil our sweet taste. Oliver is poorly sick, so we are heading off without him. Mm. Tia is driving, so I get to chill out. Liam, we're gonna fall out if you can be on. Okay, we are in Chesterfield, so we are going to explore. Chesterfield is a market town found in Derbyshire. It began as a Roman fort and was built around 70 AD. The Great Battle of Chesterfield took place on the 15th of May 1266 and the victory became that of the Royalists. <laughs> Famous for its crooked spire, it is a buzzing town with quaint historical streets leading to its markets. The indoor and outdoor markets host an array of stalls with vendors specialising in a multitude of goods to suit a variety of tastes and pockets. The Chesterfield market is actually quite impressive. There's a guy that's selling like Louis Vuitton bags that are really nice. It could be easy to overlook the beauty of the streets that labyrinth around the town centre. Taking a moment to step away from the hustle and bustle of the shops, to gaze upwards, there is a history of the area that can be admired in the variety of architecture that towers around. Home to the Royal Oak pub found in the Shambles, it is the oldest pub in the area and it is said to be the rest house of the Knights Templar. Star of the Apprentice TV show and Big Brother, James Hill lived in the Chesterfield area and was a well-known local lad. Actor Sir John Hurt was born in Chesterfield in 1940. He starred in films such as Alien, Harry Potter and The Elephant Man. The menswear chain of shops Burton's was founded by local resident Sir Montague Maurice Burton and it was the first town for a Burton shop to be opened. Chesterfield is the home of the only surviving railway roundhouse in the UK with an operational turntable. The bargains for us. The crooked spire of Chesterfield is part of an Anglican church dedicated to St Mary and All Saints. I must have drove past this church thousands of times and never once been in, so it's going to be fun. The erection of the building began in 1234 AD and is a Grade 1 listed building. It was completed in the 14th century and is of Gothic design. The church has one singular spire that towers above at 230 feet. There are 10 bells housed inside the building that were cast in 1947, the heaviest of which weighs in at 1,300 kilograms. These chimes can be heard for up to four miles away. St Mary's Church has survived many a threat, including storms, local coal mining, underground railway tunnels, and a huge fire of Christmas in 1961. Taking the time to wander around the grounds and within its cold but beautiful walls, the beautiful decor can be admired along with the never-ending history found in each structure, window and artefact. Sitting in peace upon the pews, you can get lost in yourself admiring the colours of the rainbow found in many huge and magnificent stained glass windows, capturing beams from the sun to illuminate them into their full glory. Following an inspection in 1817, loose and rotting timbers were found and a recommendation was given to demolish and replace the spire. The spire had twisted and been pushed southwards, which put it in danger of collapsing. Fortunately, however, it was decided that the spire would be repaired, leaving the famous and magnificent wonder we see today. Nature's elements resulted in lightning striking the spire and igniting the timbers, further leading to restoration in 1896. In 1994, the church became the UK's only representative in the Association of Twisted Spies in Europe and of the 72 members, it has been deemed to have the most greatest lean and twist. Oh dear, how are you enjoying another church that I've pulled around? 
It's lovely. How are you finding the church? Ooh. Is it ah. interesting? <laughs> love that she can fake that. The explanation of the movement of the spire have been debated many times, such as unseasoned wood, lack of skilled labour, heavy lead sheeting and rot have all been suggested. There are, however, many folklore stories which give funny reasons as to why the crooked spire is in place. One of which is of the spire bending to gaze in shock when a virgin was married at the church, something that is said to be of a rarity in Chesterfield. Another is that of a brave blacksmith who tried to shoe the hoof of a devil, and in doing so, the devil in pain screamed and flew towards Chesterfield, kicking the spire and twisting it as he did so. So my mum has brought me to the Derbyshire Gift Centre, so we're going to do some Easter sh shopping. Aren't we, Tia? Yeah. <laughs> so me and mum have found these hats and I can't work out whether these are cute or whether I'll look about 50. But I'm buying it anyway because I think it's cool. Oh. Yeah, it's delicious. Shall I buy this or not? <laughs> I'm being serious. Serious. Today I have been outverted and I wanted to go to Chatsworth House. Well, why don't you say that then? Idiot child here opted for Chatsworth Garden Centre. I don't think that's a good compromise. Yes, I don't I think that's fair. It'd be warm, but it's not. <laughs> so annoying. Stop <laughs> YouTube. Vin demonstrate for us. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got to be joking. You sound good like Isla. 
So, <laughs> so, I sat in this chair and so I found, I found an handle. And look, it goes back. So, I'm going to relax in it. I'm going to try and kick it back. <laughs>